Hey everybody, so before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I did change my YouTube channel name from The Apple Guy to The Apple Reseller since that is what I do. I buy and resell Apple products. So just want to let you guys know and the video will start right now. So today I will be doing a video showing you guys how you can check out a MacBook or an iMac or pretty much any Mac before you buy it. Now this video is mainly for people who are buying it from a private party locally. Like if you're buying from a friend on Craigslist, on Facebook Marketplace, or from a local private party where you can test out the computer before you buy it. Now if you're buying online like on eBay or something like that, you should still test out the MacBook after you receive it to make sure everything works. And I would like to throw in that you should also take it to an Apple store because if you make a Genius Bar appointment, they can run a diagnostic on your MacBook or whatever Mac you have to make sure that everything is in working order. So that's something that's good to do before you buy it. But if you don't have an Apple store near you, you should just check it out carefully and you should be fine. So before you go look at your used MacBook, you will also want to bring along a few things. You should bring a USB fast drive to test a USB port, or you could bring like a USB cable for your iPhone or any phone that you have. Just make sure to plug in the USB and that the USB ports do work. You'd also want to bring along your phone to test out the earphone port to make sure that it plays through both sides and there's no issue with it. And now if you're checking out a Mac with a CD drive, you should also bring like a CD. Now make sure to bring one that you don't care about so if something does happen to the CD and it won't eject, you don't care about the CD. So bring like an old CD that you don't care about or something like that. As you can see here, I brought like a really old install disk. This is just an old install desk for like an old PowerBook G4, which I don't care about. And also if the seller does not include a working charger, you should also bring along a charger so you can test out the MacBook and make sure that it charges okay. So that's something good to bring if they are not including the charger with the MacBook. The first thing that you should do when you check out a used MacBook is just to look at the cosmetic. Just look at the MacBook, look for any damage it has or anything like that. As you can see, this one does have some scratches. There's a big scratch right there. And there's also other scratches as you can see on here. And there's a little dent right there. But you just wanna look at the computer all around. Um, you also wanna look at the sides. As you can see, there's a little dent right there. And there's a dent right there. And you also want to look at the bottom. Now as you can see there's some dents and some scratches. But there's nothing really major on this thing. No major damage. And the sides is in pretty good condition as you can see here. You just want to look at all sides of the MacBook. You should look at the ports. Make sure they don't look damaged. And just look at it all around. Now if you find any big dent or anything like that you might be able to negotiate with a seller for a lower price. However, they may or may not do it. If you're testing out a MacBook, the first thing you should do is to plug it into the charger so that you, it doesn't run out of battery and also that it charges fine. As you can see here, this MacBook does charge fine and the battery is charging. So you just wanna make sure the batteries keeps charging as you test it and that there's no issue with it. The first thing you should do after the computer has booted up to the desktop is to check the spec, which you can do by going to the Apple logo on the top left and click about this Mac. And you can check what processor, RAM, memory, graphic card that it has. And you go over to the storage section, you can see how much hard drive space or SSD it has. Then you also want to check the battery, which you just go to system report. 
and then go down to power and then you can see how many charge cycle it has in this case it only has 67 charge cycle and then it's still in normal condition so that's good for this I forgot to say that while the computer is booting up you should also check the hinge just to make sure it's not too loose and that is tight now this hinge is slightly loose as you can see right here but it's not too bad you just want to make sure that it still holds itself that like the screen doesn't drop down so as you can see even though this one is a little bit loose it's still okay you should make sure that there are no password or iCloud on the Mac so to find that you just go to system preference you go to user and groups and just make sure you can unlock the setting without a password like that if yours is like this where there's no password you should be good and you should also go to iCloud and just make sure there are no accounts signed in the next thing that you should test is the keyboard and the trackpad but you're, you're already testing the trackpad while you're clicking on stuff so as long as it clicks ok and then it scrolls ok then the trackpad should be good but the keyboard there's the easy way to check the keyboard which is go system preference you go to the keyboard section and then use select show keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar after that you're going to see this keyboard's logo up here you just click on it and say click on show keyboard viewer and then you're going to get this now what you do is just type on every single key so as I show you here I'm typing on every key and just make sure that it, it all, all the keys work as you type on them as you can see you just want to try out every key make sure they work now you should also test the back of the keyboard but you should also have tested that when you do the keyboard check as you can see the back of the keyboard does work on this computer so that's good so after you're done with the keyboard the next thing that you want to do is to connect to a Wi-Fi network so you just go up here and turn on your Wi-Fi and just con try to connect it to a Wi-Fi if you can it's best to meet at like a Starbucks or a coffee shop that has a Wi-Fi so you can test it out and I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi now I will be back as you can see here I have connected to the Wi-Fi so just make sure the computer connects to the Wi-Fi with no issue and we're gonna try Safari now just to make sure it load web page now we want to test the speaker as well so let's just go on youtube.com just make sure it loads and to test the speaker just click on any random video and make sure it plays oh well it has an ad but as you can see this pretty much tests the speaker just turn the speaker up and down make sure it works the speaker can go up and down and make sure YouTube loads and you can jump around just to test it out as you can see this MacBook works fine now to make sure that the computer works fine on YouTube you can just play a video for a few minutes and just check that the speaker works the whole time and the computer doesn't shut down or anything like that while you're testing YouTube and the speaker you should also plug in some earphone as well to make sure it works so just plug in the earphone to, into the earphone jack and play the YouTube video and make sure it plays out both sides so as you can see you should also test the webcam and to test that you can launch the FaceTime app and as you can see here this webcam works okay so just make sure you, the webcam on the computer you're buying is working and after the webcam you should test the USB port which you should bring a USB stick as I have one here as you can see and just plug it into both USB port and make sure that they both work as you can see it detect it sees the USB so it's okay 
Now you want to test both USB port. So just eject that one and then plug it into the other USB port. And make sure that it works okay too. So as you can see, both USB port works on this computer. Now the next thing that you want to test will be the CD drive. Now not all Macs has CD drive, so if your Mac doesn't have a CD drive, you can skip this step. But if your does, you should put in a CD that you don't care about, just to make sure that it works. As you can see here, this CD drive does work. We're just waiting for it to load up. And as you can see here, this CD drive does work as it detects the disk. And after that, you just want to eject the CD to make sure that the CD comes out okay. And as you can see, the CD does come out fine. So this CD drive is working good. So that's all the things that I check when I go look at a used Mac. Now this computer works perfectly. There are no issue with it, but the Mac that you, you look at can be different. And to be safe, I also like to restart the computer and just check everything again to make sure everything works. So you should do that too, just to make sure that everything works and there are no issues with the computer. Now, if you do find some issues with the computer and you feel like you can deal with it or repair it later, you should ask the seller if they can lower the price. And a lot of times they are willing to lower the price. Now, if they're not willing to lower the price, you have to really think about if you're okay with it. It's kind of up to you, but that's all the stuff I check out when I go look at a used Mac. All right, so I hope you guys, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Let me know if I miss anything. Comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.